So we just love to see stories like this one, inspired by our awesome viewers. A cemetery neglected for a long time looks much more respectable. We first told you about this story back on Veterans Day, fittingly enough. The Hampton Graveyard contains the plots of African American soldiers who fought in the Civil War. But time and people forgot about it. That is, until now. Ten of your sides, Andy Fox, was there to see it before and after. On Veterans Day in the Thornton Cemetery in Hampton, you could not see that grave marker. Well, Veronica Davis was talking to us about it, and Nicholas Key was sitting at Fort Eustis, saw it, and said, I'm going to reach out. I saw your, uh, your interview with Miss Veronica Davis. And I started contacting my father about it. Nicholas Key's father restores cemeteries like what Veronica Davis had done out here at the Thornton Cemetery many years ago and told us on Veterans Day. We need them to come back out and volunteer some time here on these hallowed lands where our nation's most prized possessions, the African-American soldiers, are buried. Veronica's original volunteers had left her, which led to this. But what she didn't know, Nicholas was watching. There is someone who requested the work. Uh, I have two hands, a good back, and a little bit of patience, and I have friends, so I was like, I'll do it. He did it, and fellow Fort Eustis soldiers did it, and they took pictures of what volunteerism and service is all about. They were answering the call to act, to clean up what is so important. My call to doing this is it just, it, it's something that needs to be done. I, I'm a Catholic and as a Catholic, we have a tenant of uh, to bury our dead. It's one of our corporal works of mercy. Mercy and patience and a plan and a promise to come back and maintain. Keep on raking. Our goal is to get down to the dirt, uh, kill anything that is growing that we don't want to grow and turn this into a revitalized cemetery. Again, it is just such a blessing um, the number of people and volunteers that you guys have helped us bring forth. And we thank you so, so much. To show the fruits of the soldiers' labor, Veronica sent us this picture of the 7-Eleven floodlight showing how cleaned up the cemetery now is. The undergrowth gone. Veronica says the stones now stand like roses standing at attention. The hallowed grounds hallowed once more. In Hampton, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.